Hello everyone, welcome to another Armourist video. I still cannot pronounce that. Um, <laughs> yes, that... Um, I would like to say... I took notes of what happened next through my own experience gameplay. And today we will be continuing off of um, Xenix, I think his name is. So let's jump into the game. Sounds like I got it! Alright. We're back at we're back at the club. That's um Let's head home for the night. Let's change clothes. Come on, War Troll. Cooperate. Let's see here. I don't think. Simple t shirt and comfortable pants. IDs only under scratch the sharp sharpie I guest driver license two guests per club member at least part of underline twice Better a dinner dinnerly wandering around and hoping for the best. 
I dropped a quick text down there. As I waited, I watched a few patrons set up near the setting arena shoot as the targets. It was difficult to tell they were hiding from where I was. But each loud bang I started to doubt if my text even got in there. Even with the required ear protectors, some of the large guns were enough to rattle the wood bars of the floor a little. A little longer passed with the only perceptive company before a large hand clapped on my back, startling me a little. I was spaced out, or was it just the ear covers? Either way, I had a pretty good idea who my pat who pat my shoulder with that kind of force. Bubba FNAF! You made it! Here I thought you were never going to show up. Hey, you okay? You don't look so hot. I laughed it off. Adjusting my headset were combinations of jumping his, his slap and knocked it to me. Knocked it wonky. Yeah. You know a guy with your size shouldn't go wrong jumping out at people, right? You're pretty much chomped off my head. He laughed with a, yeah, yeah, all good fun gesture. I finally got a good look at the dragon from under the abandoned light at the neon of the club. His vest top left with a varying imagination, hugging the solemn mountain range of his abs. Not to mention that more of his broad shoulders and thick arms on display was far from the worst either.
party dungeon or should we keep going a little? Sounds good to me, but for now, over here. I couldn't help but notice the target had been. I've been practicing on had multiple holes directly in front of the center of the target, and a couple of dead shots in the head of the region. It was impressive. All sorts of scary, I guess. I know not to piss this guy off. He was clearly talented. I followed Zenith over to his spot on the range. It looked like he had already been practicing for a while. There was a large box, boxy pistol on the table. I didn't know that model, but it looked like a police pistol. In both of there was a half-empty box of bullets. He, ha he has his own earplugs too, which he usually slipped on one pencil and supposedly if it was going to shoot too. Was the green night. We'd have to talk. We have to take turns. Alright, let me just empty this clip here. Then we'll swap out. Alright, Zen, show me what you got. I watch as the dragon slipped his plugs in. They were professional ones that hang around the neck bands. I guess he came here a lot. He picked up the pistol, checked the safely slipped on and to mark before switching it to live aiming. He stood like a pro. He meant something above the cop training, and it seemed that he slipped back in the wrong as he considered it. I adjusted my own earmuffs. He pierced over to make sure I had done so. The range was clear before drawing the line down of the gun. Shooting the range. One, two, then a quick double. Three, four. So quick the sounds almost blurred together. He flicked on the safe safety on, ejected the empty mechanism, and quickly reached the slide twice. He immediately had known exactly how many rounds he had left, because I didn't see him pull the trigger dry. Zenith flicked the plugs out of his ears and scooped out the other big magazines on the surface into his hand like magic. My the Henley worked for a moment with a grin. Two of the short shots had the last two laid on top of each other, traveling in the heart of the flank. Still, who set? Good shooting. You'd like that, huh? Ain't much better shooting than that outside the flash movie stuff. That was, I mean, damn. The first clean shots. There's something else in it. You're too damn cute for your own good. You know that. Keep flattering me like that and I'll have to buy you lunch. Is that a promise? I gave a cop coy a little smirk and put the most innocent looking face I could muster. He laughed it off a little after dropping me a ring. You'll just have to find out, won't you? But we'll talk about lunch later. So, you ever fire one of these before? Uh, I'm guessing that you do. I didn't have an ID. No. Nah, I never touched one. I wouldn't know the first thing, really. Hey, don't sweat it. I'll show you how to use my pistol. First things first, safety is the number one priority. The new models have tons of safety features. But first things first. The first thing you want to do is... There we stood. Zenna showed me the ins and outs of how to use his firearm. He took the time explaining everything simply. Starting with how to safely handle the weapons. And the safety before moving on to... The the other features. He felt like proper, a proper teacher, you know, almost like he had done this before a certain didn't know his, his 
stuff. He must seriously gun love guns. He went over to reload how to stand properly and even some tips how to aim. The best part was how to close close he was. He really got into showing me the proper posture. His monster chest up against my back and snouting on my shoulders to my to my cheek and my side. Check my side. I felt as, as I might have melt against him, but I contained myself. He smelled like manly cove body wash. Washed against the horse the horse guy in the advertisement. Before the embrace drive me to respond, or get you distracted to listen to advice, he nodded and stepped back away. So did you get that? There's nothing you're still unsure about? If you go over it again, does that mean we can to cuddle up close again? I mean, that was for the sake of the show. You know how to but let's see how you shoot first. Don't worry. I'm gonna just mess with you. So is there anything else I need to know? Or do I just have, have at it? You should be good. Show me how it's done. A bit for now. You, you got a real pro for a teacher. So I expect nothing but per perfection. Something like that 
is an awkward topic. We can just forget that I even ask. Get back to having fun, okay? Look. Not like I don't trust you or anything. It's just... It's nothing I want to talk about. Thanks for understanding. It's fine, Tenneth. We came out here to blow off some steam. Remember, let's get back... Let's get back to it. For the time being, many... It was best to leave it be. It didn't take long before it was to compose himself again. Whatever it was, it seemed like it was maybe a little bigger than our official first date. Sorry, Puppet FNAF. Must have been the adrenaline getting me all riled up. Wanna get back to it? You got to go through the... All the clips, it's my turn to show you what I can do more than four bullets. I never let the topic go. You're getting ready to get back to firing off some more rounds when I heard a soft voice behind me. Uh, Senna? Is that really you? I can't believe it. I haven't seen you in years. hospital. Zen is more than a friend because he's my hero. As I'm concerned. A hero? What do you mean? Uh, Zenith? Zen is vigilant nervous as I spoke to Jason. Um. But didn't say anything. I could do was stand back and hope that she saves some feelings. Jason, I... Well, Zenith saved my life a few years ago. What? He saved your life? What happened? I mean, you don't mind me asking. It's nothing, really. I was just doing my job, you know? Don't listen to him. He's too modest and a big softy under those muscles. A few years back, I got into a car accident. A pretty serious one. A T-bone at an intersection. I'd spare you the details, but one I was pinned under my car and needed help quick. My butt my belt was choking me. from where I framed all framed got all fucked. I was saying and listen to Jason. Zenith looked away as much as he could without being rude. The story seemed to be making him uncomfortable. But I couldn't exactly tell the guy to stop telling his life altering story. I was with the car was the wheel and I was going to. Well, 
dinner last night. I mean, last, that night. The next thing I remember was waking up next to a handsome police officer. I wasn't that handsome. I was shaking like a leaf. See, then it happened to be on patrol nearby. When I got into an my accident, he tore the car to he tore into the car and to pry me out before the fire could get to me. Zenith, is that true? That's incredible. The tall man couldn't bring himself to look at either of us, though it was the hint of a blush rising on his stata features. It's all true. He performed the CPR and made sure I got it. Got to the hospital in one piece. He sat at my bedside all night. He, even if he didn't realize I was awake. My throat was hurt. And the time I didn't know, no, I. to the department the next day. I still even... I still have it even. I was just doing my job. Anyone would have done it. Jason. Jason didn't give him any time to react. They shared one last tragic hug before Jason barred out conversation, taking a step back towards the entrance. I'm glad I was able to see you again, Zenith. I don't want to interrupt your day or help, though. It was nice meeting you as well, Puppet, for now. I'm sure as well each other again. Yeah, you take good. You take care, Jason. Thanks for the flowers. Zenith and I stood there for a moment, both of us looking at the boutique flowers like we had never seen one before. The silence had a thick, but Zenith was the final one who finally broke it. So, guess there's ain't no hiding it now, huh? Cats out of the bag. Why wouldn't you hide that, though? Have you seen someone someone's life? That's pretty amazing, Zenith. 
I got my reasons. It just hurts to remember some things, you know. Good days were all well, good, but not plenty of bad ones too. I only imagine wearing a cop along the corner room work at armor is. Dennis sat the floor down, a smile finally returning to his face. He was wrapped in an arms around my shoulder, pulling me close before he spoke. Tell you what, Puppet FNAF. It's been a long time since I've been able to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with someone like this. It's nice. Listen, I try to hide it out there. Even I'm usually want to open it up and shit. I'm trying to run from this crack stuff. But since, but it's nice to do something more than once. Tell you what, we'll get into all those questions. Just on the middle of the range, yeah? Next day, we'll do something relaxing and getting all that shit out in the open, yeah? I peered up at Zenith, dwarfed by the size of him. Despite that, I felt relaxed against him already. I guess that was right solution. He was talking about protected. Maybe that was better word for how he made me feel. Somewhere we couldn't go. Real we go to relax and not be bothered by people. I had it. Picnic. Did I really just blurt that out? Picnic. Not the smoothest sensation, but. Leaning in so close, there was really so much black hugging. I could take nobody before the urge, building up to a kiss or a nudge. Now it's with him. You heard me. A picnic. You said you wanted to do something nice. Let's have a picnic. I started to figure out we might have our range day crash enough for today. I suppose you should get those flowers in water before they go bad. He burst into laughter, squeezing me close in a half hug. Head on, half, half hug, half hand look before letting me go. A picnic. I guess we, can ha we can't have guns and ammo for every day. Just a little girly, nothing wrong with that. Just trying to work you out is all. He's king, right? He can't work me out. A picnic, you know? That sounds amazing. I could go for a picnic. We can talk about whatever you want. You want to know about my fast? Fine. I'll fill you in. Awesome. The next day, I'll give you a call when when I got a free afternoon day. That's whatever it is. It's looking okay. Okay? Yeah? Sure thing. Hey, you need to run home. I gotta pack this stuff up first. I love to, but I got my car with me. Did you want a carpool next time at least? Sure. I, I don't pack too much. Just don't pack too much in Otherwise, you'll get stranded out there with the slime sleep them off. I see you later, Zenith. Text me with some food ideas, okay? We left things at Cordell, but slightly overlong. Hugging and smiled that said we both enjoyed ourselves, despite our interruption. I guess I can't blame him for holding off all the serious questions until our next date. Especially not the one to spoil the tension mode after Jason stopped by. Somewhere along the ride home, I started to wonder, had I called it a date first? Or has Zenith? The mutual agreement that was intended a date has only excitement to it. Like something semi from agreement, I guess we should see the answer some of my questions were first.
Well, that's it. For now, everyone. If you like more, please comment down. And if you and if you like me to continue the Zen story, let me know. Nightmare Wolf over and out.